faith with you this morning to pray with you. Depending on where you are, it can be afternoon, it can be evening, and it can be the middle of the night. But I want to lift up my voice and join my voice with your voice. According to the scripture, it says, Heaven discern principalities and power. He make a spectacle show of them and he triumph over them all. It's my prayer for you this morning that you will triumph over problem, over sickness, over the powers of the gate of Hades, over whatsoever is trying to limit you or to contain you or to cage you in life. I speak over your life in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus, you will triumph in every way, in every area of life. I see limitation is being removed from your life. I see the power of God taking you from where you are to where you need to be in the journey of life. I see the power that gathered against you, they are scattering one by one in the mighty name of Jesus. I see that the Lord is lifting up your head. I pray for you. You will not be small. You will not go under. You will not be frustrated. Whatever try to frustrate you in the journey of life, the power of the Most High God remove it today by the power and the grace and the anointing in the name of Jesus. Also, I want to use this opportunity to invite you to a program that we have Monday to Friday, every day, 5.45 a.m. to 7 a.m. I want you to be there. You can connect with us on our Facebook or on our Zoom. And I bet as you do, that the Lord will use it to lift you up to another level of your life. As you go out today, I want you to make this confession with me that we make every morning during this program in the presence. I am in your presence. I walk in your presence and I'm surrounded by your presence. And I know that as you walk and as you go, the presence of God will go with you. The presence of God will lift you. The presence of God will guide you. The presence of God will deliver you and he will protect you and he will cover you under his awesome hand. God bless you. Prayer means to call, calling on the name of God and connecting with God. Hallelujah. Come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord is good.
International Center welcomes you to another life-changing broadcast. When he says you will say to this mountain, he wasn't talking to the people who know how to pray. It Get ready to ignite your spirit in worship like never before. Join us on May 17, 2024 at Grace to Grace International Center for Faithful Fridays. Ignite your spirit in worship. Experience the power of worship as our talented musicians and singers lead you into a deep encounter with God. Come and be refreshed, inspired, and transformed as we lift our voices in praise and adoration. Hear an anointed message that will ignite your faith and propel you into a new level of spiritual growth. Save the date, May 17, 2024, at Grace to Grace International Center, Faithful Fridays. Ignite your spirit in worship. Don't miss this life-changing event.
Why our morning spiritual booster? This has already set my day, and I believe that your day is already set as well. Our days are set with thanksgiving, with praise. We return the glory to God our Father. Hallelujah. If you have not shared this platform with somebody, please go ahead and share this platform. Share it with your neighbor, share it with your friend, share it with somebody. Make sure you do that this morning. And as you do, the Lord God Almighty will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody this morning. Let me quickly run through our program again this morning because I know you are ready for what God is doing and what we do for you this morning. Hallelujah. Today is Wednesday and you know we pray for family. So I look forward for great things that God is going to do in our lives, in our home, in the name of Jesus. On Thursday, what do we do? On Thursday, we pray for stubborn issues and challenges and troubles of life. And we have our Holy Communion. Praise God. Get ready your Holy Communion tomorrow. Don't miss it. And on Friday, what do we do? We pray for healing and we pray for spiritual growth. Our spiritual growth is very, very important to us at the end of our life. What will it profit a man after, after eating and drinking and winding up here and he loses his soul? So you must grow spiritually. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this will be a priority for you, not just coming to church in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This Friday, my God, say it again. This Friday is going to be a night of praise. It's going to be a night of dancing. It's going to be a night of rejoicing. Hallelujah. So make sure you don't miss it. Put on your dancing shoe. We will praise. Uh -huh. and we will praise into victory, into blessing, uh -huh. into joy. So make sure this Friday, please help me tell somebody to tell somebody and make sure you drag yourself there. You come with your family. The place of prayer is good though. And this is why I thank God for people that take time off, extra time, either to be in the Agbara Dra or to be in the night vigil or they be in Tuesday meeting. My God, God is doing all, all things in Tuesday meeting. That's where your spiritual life is being energized. Yes, and ignited. Yes, make sure you don't just come to Sunday that I bring. Make sure you find time, find time. For all this program, these three programs that I've mentioned, every Tuesday program, Agbara Adra and Night Vigil. Come and see what God is doing and it shall be well with each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, women Conference, if you have not registered your interest, my God, I tell you, don't miss out. Make sure you register your interest for a GWOG 2024 it's going to be, my God, it's going to be a great testimony for everyone that comes. This is the first time we'll be having a weekend, yes, as ladies outside the church. So make sure you are there and God bless you as you take time to be part of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go quickly and make a morning confession this morning. Our morning confession. How are you doing this morning? I am in his present. I walk in his present. I am surrounded by his present. It's my prayer for you again this morning. The presence of God will go with you. The presence of God will be with you. The presence of God will uphold you. The presence of God will shield you. The presence of God will deliver you. The presence of God will give you victory on every side. You will have great testimony. You will have an everlasting joy in the name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord shall be your strength. In the name of Jesus, shout a bigger, better hallelujah again this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Let's quickly go and see what God has for us this morning. Aha, uh -huh. let's go to the book of Proverbs. I love the book of Proverbs. Let me say this to you in a month, make sure you read the book of Proverbs. Even if you can't read five chapters, just read one, one chapter for a day. You will find out in a month, you will finish reading the book of Proverbs. Don't rush to read it. Just take one chapter. Make sure as you read it, you also meditate on it. One chapter. As you read, meditate on it. 
and you will see how God will increase you and increase your wisdom. The book of Proverbs is a book of wisdom that each and every one of us need to read. So that's your assignment. To, your assignment is to read the book of Proverbs. Yes, let's say today is, uh, you know the date. Start today and end when it ends and make sure you finish your 31 days. Praise the Lord because it has 31 chapters. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's look at Proverbs 15, 1 to 2. A soft answer. I say that again. That's what we are reading together. A soft answer turns away road. But a harsh word steer up anger. The tongue of the wise commands knowledge, but the mouth of a fool out of folly. <laughs> this is our word again this morning. A soft answer. That's what God is requiring from us as family this morning, as spouse. God is expecting you to answer softly. Everybody say softly this morning. Softly. That's what God expects from you. You see, at times, there are things that will happen. Instead of you to be aggravated and you are shouting and you are making noise. No. A soft answer We do the job. Yes, as spouse, we may, not, we may want to get each other upset, angry, uh -huh, to the point that you are shouting. No, a soft answer, a soft answer turns away wrong. Let's take, for example, you and your husband in the morning, or you and the wife, let's take whichever one in the morning. It's asking you a question. Are you the one that pressed this toothpaste? Why are you asking me? Is that a soft answer? No. That's not a soft answer. It's just asking. Why? Um, uh, who pressed the toothpaste? So you just ah, Daddy, I know this thing is is not easy. At times you can't even dial in your wife. And we can dial in everything. You just say, darling, oh, just calm down. I'm the one that press it. Uh, what does it matter if we press it up? You know, that's a soft answer. And I can also say it like this. Why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? You want to start trouble again this morning? Yes, that's not a soft answer. It's the same thing I have said. But I've said it, one with attitude, and the other one, I have said it with calmness. With calmness. With calmness. Most of the time, we are not calm enough with one another. We are too harsh. Boom, 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 boom. That's why we're talking to each other. No. A soft answer turns the way wrong. That takes me back to the time, let's say, for example, when both of you were dating. When you were dating, I know it's soft, soft. The way you talk to other, each other, you, talk, you address each other in the way that you want to be around each other. That should not stop after dating. That should not stop after you have gotten married. It's something that needs to continue. What did I say? You continue a soft answer, a soft answer every time, every day. Let's start from today. Little, little, little things. Use a soft answer. Your wife is saying good morning, or your husband is saying good morning. Then you say good morning, darling. How are you? Do you have a, a nice night? That is a soft answer. It's not just good morning, and it's like you are ready. There's something in you that says you are ready again. Even if both of you were fighting before you went to go and sleep. I told you the story of one of my, my senior, you know, mamas. She said that every time she's fighting with her husband or they are having misunderstanding, he said her voice will be up and, this, and these are people that are men of caliber and women of caliber. So there's no marriage that does not, you know, have one each or the other. He said when she starts shouting and screaming and talking, he said after a while, and the husband have money. Not that the husband does not have money. At times we think it's because I don't have money. It's because, no. You see, a soft answer will pull out a lot of things that will benefit both of you as spouse. So this woman, this woman of God said, the husband, they will say that immediately they see that maybe they, they are cook or ever anybody tells them that some, somebody is here to see you. The husband will, you know, forget about it. That is settled. That is gone. And you know women at times, 
we are too emotional whatever is has crossed your mind has up to your mind you are still dealing with it so she said that by the time the husband has left and um, the visitor have left and they go back she will now ask the husband we need to continue from where we stop the husband will say stop from where we i beg leave me alone you understand let's continue our day a soft answer you pull your spouse to yourself you pull one another there is a statistic that people that are married they live longer but again they can die untimely where both of you are not together where both of you is always grab grab bam bam every time we shout and your children is affecting them and most of the time we don't know that this nonsense that we do our children is the one that they carry it our children is the one that are affected by it we think it's just me alone it's just us alone no it's beyond that a soft answer will do the job just make your choice today there's a place you get to in life and you just make your choice and say i'm not going to allow something to bother me yes if you are the one that shout before blah, 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 just a soft answer a soft answer change the way you approach one another what did i say this morning to husband to wife even to mothers to father change the way you approach one another it's not good when you are so harsh even to your children you are harsh you are talking to them it's looking as if you are fighting with them no we need to grow up as believer in this work oh, let me say to you if you are not grown if you are not growing it's not something that is good am i talking to somebody this morning learn to answer back with a soft answer a soft answer not only when you want something i i, I hear ladies say this up to them, that if my if my husband husband also say it, that if my spouse is being nice 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 to me i know that something is about to happen it may not be in the area of sex but he's thinking this one that is too nice am i talking to somebody at times when your spouse is too nice to you in your head you are calculating he wants to take something because you know that that's not him that's not her it's because of something that he wants to take from you that is behaving that way i see him uh -huh. there's really genuine love it's not one day thing it's an attitude that we need to cultivate on a daily basis and we need to sit down and talk a lot of family don't talk a lot of family are just there you can hear this morning that somebody just like that pie somebody just like that something happened to them they just die like that because there is a lot that they have internalized there is a lot that they carry am i talking to somebody we must be in a relationship where we love to be around one another where we are shared leader of one another where we encourage where we cuddle where we talk to one another yes there will be differences because we have different background and different uh upbringing but then now we are together as one learn to do what do something softly softly you i'm talking to you this morning that turns away road you can imagine you have made up your mind maybe it's your your son or your daughter as well that i'm going to deal with them i'm going to deal with them here let me say this to you do you remember there is this a video that went viral at a time i don't know maybe you were you know you were able to 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 watch that video where a young boy was saying to the mom that calm down calm down do you remember that video in case you don't remember a young boy the mother wanted to hit her and this boy was saying to the mom calm down now calm down now calm down then it become it became a slogan that you know even the state government you know they took it off they were able to see that boy and give that boy a word but let me say this to you do you know the mom died though that will not be your portion after a while she died though because she's not coming now there are a lot of things that you are carrying don't carry too much this world that we are in is only one you are privileged to come once don't come you say some people will say when i come to another no 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 there is no any other world this is this 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 one so this one make up your mind to enjoy it am i talking to somebody in fact i have made up my mind to enjoy this life and that is the truth make up your mind to have the best of each day 
don't carry something in your mind. Some of you in your bloodline, you don't have hypertension, no, but you have it. Why? Because you always put something in your mind. Your mind is raising like that, as if it's an engine. No, take life easy. Hallelujah. But a ash word, stop speaking ash word to one another. What did I say? Stop speaking ashly to one another. Stop speaking ashly to one another. Learn to be calm. Learn to be gentle. Learn to be loving. Learn to be not out to call do. Hallelujah. Learn to speak a word of grace in season to each other as husband and wife. This will help you. Not only that it will help you, it will give you long life. And that is the truth. Go and do your research. And I quickly want to say this. The tongue of the wise commands knowledge. Do you see that? The, con the tongue of the wise, it commands knowledge. Remember, I believe one of the days we were talking about understanding, you know, that help us to be established. And we want to eat the fruit of our labor. So please, your tongue. How do you use your tongue? How do you use your tongue? That tongue is given to you for communication in your relationship. It's not given to you to be mute at all. It's given to you to talk. You keep talking and talking and talking until you get it right. But hear me, when you are talking, make sure it's a soft, in a subtle way you are talking. Don't talk, don't boss your spouse. Don't boss one another. Don't behave one way outside and behave another way at home. Am I talking to somebody? There are people they have about three characters. It's only your spouse that knows you. That that which you say, hey, yes, sir. Hey, to everybody. Hey, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Hey, you're at home. You are not like that. Before it talks, your eyes is rolling. You are red. I'm ready for trouble. I'm ready for battle. That will not help us. I pray with the word of God this morning that God is going to use it for each and every one of us. Hallelujah. He said, the mouth of fools are full of are pours out fully. Don't let your mouth be a mouth of fool. Am I talking to somebody? Help me this morning. Help yourself. Don't be a fool. A fool does talk anyhow. A, a fool does not calculate before speaking. A fool does not think with the consequences of what is going to happen when they are talking. They just talk anyhow and say, we are going to destroy it. We are going to destroy it. A fool. What does a fool do? A fool answer back every matter. Don't be a fool in your marriage. It's not everything that you, you answer back. Remember I often say, it's only a dead man and a blind woman that can marry and the marriage will be successful. So go and look for a dead man to marry. And if you are not, yes, be dead from today. Command that you want to be deaf and dumb. Am I talking to somebody? So there are some things that you just see it. You just shake off. That's not for you. I'm not saying you should do that to your spouse. Though, but inside of you, it doesn't, that does not matter. I want to enjoy life. Am I talking to somebody? The blind one is not everything that you see you comment on. Let's learn wisdom from this program. Another program. Learn what wisdom of God is the principal thing. Get understanding in all you're getting. And as we do, the Lord will bless us. Every morning, like where, where is it? It's a time for us to enjoy the presence of God. To be able to talk. Hallelujah. And as we do continuously, the Lord will help us. In the name of God the Father, I know that a word, a word is enough for the wise. So swallow that. Enjoy that. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you as you do this morning. So we want to lift up our voice again this morning. And we want to begin to talk to our Heavenly Father. And say, Father, help me. I can't walk this alone. I can't walk this alone. I can't do this alone. Lift up your voice and begin to talk to your Father. Say, Father, help me. I cannot do this alone. I cannot walk this way alone. Lift up your voice. Begin to talk to your Father. Talk to your Father. Talk to your Father. Lift up your voice and begin to talk to Him this morning. Say, Lord, I cannot walk alone. 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 Help me, O Lord, to tell this line by your grace, by your anointing. Begin to talk to him this morning. 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 
I can't walk alone. I can't do it alone. Release grace, oh God, upon me this morning. Lord, to be able to do more. I want you to lift up your voice uh, and begin to talk to your father. Talk to your father this morning. I cannot walk this path alone. I cannot do this alone. I'm asking for your grace, uh, Lord, this morning. I'm asking for grace. Uh, somebody ask for grace uh, on a daily basis. Uh, what you need, uh, what I need uh, is grace. Uh, so ask for that grace this morning. No wonder. God said to Paul the Apostle, he said, my grace uh, is enough for you. When Paul the Apostle was crying and saying to God, remove this tongue from me, what God replied to Paul the Apostle is my grace uh, is sufficient uh, for you. You also cry out to the Lord this morning. Say, I need grace. Uh, I need grace. Uh, I need grace. Uh, I cannot walk this path alone. I cannot do it alone. All I need from you this morning is your grace. Uh, Go ahead and ask God. Say, God, give me grace. 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 Ask for that grace this morning. Ask for that grace this morning. Ask for that grace this morning. The grace to obey the word of God. The grace to obey the things of the Spirit. The grace to the grace of God. Ask for that grace. Ask for that grace. Ask for that grace. Ask for that grace. Say, my father, I need your grace this morning. 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 Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, uh, we are prayed. Uh, I want you to lift up your voice again this morning. Say, Father, give me grace to follow. Give me grace to obey. Give me grace, oh God, to be an example uh, of your word. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, talk to your father. Say, my father, give me grace. Give me grace, 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 the grace to follow, the grace to follow, the grace to follow, the grace to follow, your word, give it to me this morning, I'm asking for that grace, I'm asking for that grace, the grace to do your will, the grace to walk your way, the grace of God. The grace of God, let that grace come upon me this morning. The grace to stand up. The grace not to be weary. The grace not to be discouraged. I want you to ask for that grace. The grace of God is grace. Oh, marriage is grace. If you don't have the grace, it's difficult. It's difficult. If you don't have that grace, so ask for that grace. Ask for that grace. Ask for that grace. Ask for that grace. Let us ask for that grace this morning. Lift up your voice. Say, my father, give me grace this morning. I need your grace. 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 I cannot walk alone. Lift up your voice. Uh, talk to him this morning. I cannot walk uh, this path alone. I cannot walk uh, this marriage alone. I cannot train my children alone. I need your grace. 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 Continue to ask from God this morning. The grace in marriage. The grace in marriage. The grace in marriage. The grace in marriage. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. We are prayed. We want to lift up our voice again. We want to ask our Father this morning. Give me grace. It's not everything I see I complain about. Oh, give me grace. Oh, lift up your voice. It's not everything I hear. I have to respond to these two graces. You need it this morning. That is not everything you hear that you respond to. It's not everything you see that you have to comment on. Discipline yourself. Tinuke. Talk to yourself this morning. Lift up your voice and talk to your father. Ask for that grace. Ask for that grace. Ask for that grace. Ask for that grace. It's not all I see. I'm going to be commenting on. It's not all I hear. Masata. That we allow to, to, to disturb me. Lift up your voice this morning. Say, Father, I need this grace. I don't just want to pray about it. I need this grace. I need this grace. Everyone that asked for it this morning will receive it. Aha, lift up your voice. Ask for that grace. 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 Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, I need that grace. 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 That is not everything I see. I will comment on. 
It's not everything I hear. I want to fight. Lord, give me grace. Lord, this morning, your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace. Is somebody I pray? Your grace, oh, 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 your grace, oh. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise. Lift up your voice. We are praying this morning. This marriage matter. This our prayer. We need prayer. We can't walk it alone. We can't do it alone. And as a mother, you cannot do it alone. A lot of mom, the way you always answer your children has caused them to move out of the house. Ah, a father, the way you answer them has caused them to say, we don't want to come near you again. So lift up your voice this morning and begin to ask for grace. Grace is something you cannot do. You don't have the power of your own, but you are asking for help. For the one that can help you to be able to do it. Say, Lord, I need grace this morning. 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 Lord, I lift up my voice. I need your grace this morning. Your grace, your grace to answer back softly. Your grace to answer back softly. Your grace not to answer with anger. Your grace not to put up attitude. These are things that we need to pray for this morning. Your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace. Even if there's something that you have heard, the grace of God that holds you to go through the grace of God that help you, that we help you in the journey. You need it. Each and every one of us will need it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. I want you to pray again this morning. Do you know at times the reason why you answer the way you answer? Because there are things that are not dealt with. You have not forgiven one another. You are still bottling up to say, I will catch her. I will catch him. I will retaliate. I will revenge. I will give it back to her. I will give it back to him. I am not a dummy. Do you know this is why you reply at times with anger? This is why you remember that uh, uh, he spoke to me, Ashley. So I will speak to uh, Ashley at, uh, 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 as well. And at times, your spouse may not even notice that he has spoken to you, Ashley. These are truth of words of life. There is some people is being their nature. Do you know, especially Nigerians, when they are in cars or in train, when they are talking, the person that they are talking to may be on another side of on phone. You'll be hearing the way they will be shouting. Everyone in the car will roll their eyes because they are hearing their conversation and it's not a pleasant conversation. You understand what I'm talking about? We want to lift up our voice this morning and we want to ask God in any way I am bottled up. Offense of 10 years, offense of 20 years, offense of 30 years. I have not forgiven my spouse. God help me this morning. And that is why you are acting the way you are acting. Say, Father, help me this morning. Help me this morning. Help me this morning. Help me this morning. To let go. To forgive one another. Not to keep calling offense. Our master says, offense we come. He warned us ahead of time. Do you know the people that are more offended is in relationship? That's why when husband and wife they separate, some don't want to see on each other again, some don't want to befriend each other again. Even if they have children, they cut up completely because they are still bottling up issues that are past. They did not put it behind them. So talk to God, Father, this morning. Say, Father, help me. Help me not to put too long. Help me, O oh God, to know how to talk. Help me, O oh God, to know how to deal with my spouses. Help me, O oh God, to know how to deal with my spouse. Ask him this morning. Ask him this morning. Let's go ahead and ask our father. Let's ask our father this morning for wisdom, for wisdom, for wisdom, for wisdom, for wisdom, for wisdom. Some things that we carry in our hand. It's what makes you to talk the way you are talking. That is not you. But ask God this morning. Say, I need help. Let everybody say, I need help. I need help. I need help. And do you know, it's not just people that are newly wedded for two years, three years, four years. Even people that are in relationship for years. It's the same thing. Talk to your father. Father, we give you praise. 
Father, we give you glory. Now I want you to pray this prayer again. Say, Father, punch my heart of every offense that I'm bottled up, of every offense that I'm carrying, every offense. Lord, this morning, give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace for my heart to be punched up. Give me grace. Lord, this morning, my heart be punched. Be punched. Be punched. My heart be punched. My heart be punched. Talk to your father. Paul Karabashata. Ask your father this morning to punch your heart. 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 Say, Father, punch my heart. Say, Father, punch my heart. I come before you this morning. Say, punch my heart. 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 Each and every one of us, we need help on a daily basis. Ah, Baba. Punch my heart. 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 Punch my heart of everything that I carry, every offense that I carry. Somebody pray that way. Say every offense uh, that I carry on a daily basis uh, around. Uh, Baba, punch me up it this morning. I don't want to carry offense again. Give me grace, uh, Lord, to overlook uh, things that happen uh, on a daily basis. Uh, give me grace, oh. 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 You're going to be tested today with what you have just prayed about. So ask for that grace to pass God's test. Ask for that grace. 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 Ask for that grace to pass God's test in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. This is the prayer point that the Holy Spirit just dropped in my spirit. Say, enough of war in my life. Enough of war in my home. There are people that their home is war zone. War zone. Want to enjoy one life for once. Say, Lord, today I cry out to Lord. Remove every war in my life. Remove every war in my home. Remove a mentality of war. Lord, for me. Lord, this morning. Lord this morning, 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 pray this morning, no, pray this morning, no, remove the mentality of war, Lord in my home, remove the mentality of war. Some homes are war zone, you tread carefully. Uh huh. If I do this again, it will be offended. If I do that again, so let me just stay in my own corner, cry out to the Lord this morning, say, Lord, I don't want my home to be a war zone. I don't want my home to be a warm zone. I don't want my home to be a warm zone. I don't want my home to be a warm zone. Help me this morning. Help me, Jehovah God. Help me, Jehovah God. Help me, Jehovah God. Help me, Jehovah God. That my home will not become a war zone. 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 In the name of Jesus. We're going to pray that prayer again. Do you know, in the formation uh, years of our children, some of them have also formed with war attitude and they go to marriage with that mentality. Uh -huh. That's the way to deal with a woman. That's the way to deal with a man. You want to lift up your voice this morning and say, Father, help me. Change the things I, th I think cannot be changed again. By your grace today, in my home, between me and my spouse, you know what needs to be changed. I know what needs to be changed, and we need to be honest about it. Say, Father, change the things I think cannot be changed because you are the only one that cannot change. But you change this situation, commit it into God's hands. You know what I'm talking about. Commit it to God's hands. Say, My Father, change the things that I think cannot change this morning. Jehovah God, change the things uh, that I think uh, cannot change. Oh, cannot change. Oh, Lord, change it this morning. By your grace, by your anointing, by your grace, by your anointing, by your grace, by your anointing. In the name of Jesus, pray this again. Say, Father, give me the spirit of perseverance. Give me the spirit of perseverance. What a lot of people don't have is the spirit of perseverance. They say, ah, you can't be talking to me and I won't talk to you. They don't have the spirit of perseverance. Instead of you to listen 
and pick up some things from what that person is saying. You want to fight back and you have been fighting, fighting and nothing is happening in your life. Let's cry out to God. Lord, give me the grace to persevere. Not just with my spouse, even with people that are in my surrounding. Give me that grace to persevere. The grace to persevere. The grace to persevere with one another. With one another, 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 with one another. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise. At times, check your foundation. Your foundation is the one that is fighting you. Am I talking to somebody? It's your foundation, no, nothing else. It's your foundation. Their foundation of trouble. That is the way that it happened in your mother's house. In your between your mom and your dad. Between your dad and your mom. Yes, they never have a time of peace. They never have a time of joy. And the demon is looking out to make sure you yourself does not have a day of joy. Won't you think for one minute that no, 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 it's not going to repeat itself in my life. I want you to cry out to God. Say, Lord, anything in my foundation that is not making me to enjoy peace in my home, say today, I arrest it by the finger of God, 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 by the finger of God. Your mom and dad lived in pain. You also are living in pain. Hey, cry out to God and mean what you are praying. 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 Don't you know that if your father is a drunkard and you also want to marry, he will go and tow the line and bring you a drunkard. At first you may not know. It will not be revealed to you. But after a while, maybe when you are married, then you begin to see the pattern of your father. Again in your life, you will see the pattern of your mother again in your life, and you'll be asking yourself, What is this? Ask grace this morning for our grace to speak in all our homes, 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 in all our homes. Ask for that grace, 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 grace to speak graciously to one another. Grace to love one another. Grace to care about one another. Grace to make sure that patterns does not repeat itself in your life. Ask for that grace. Oh. 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 Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you adoration. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray these three prayers before we go. Say, Father, pour your love in my heart. Pour your love in my life, in my life, that I will understand what it means to love as a father, as a husband. The one to know how to love, how to love my children, how to love my wife. Lord, give me that grace this morning. Not something you do one day and you don't do. Where Korab Shatter, the grace to love, to care, there is different from sharing and caring. Cry out to God this morning. When you care about somebody, you want to be around them, you want to sit around them, you want to find about their day. Yes, you don't repel them when they come near you. You don't even go to them alone when you need something from them. Shout to God this morning. Grace to Lord. Grace to Lord. With a pure heart. Lord, give me this money. You may not have it. What you don't have, you cannot give. But if you ask for it, you can receive it. Grace this morning. 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 To love one another without complaining on a daily basis. Ask for it this morning. Ask for it this morning. Thank you, Father God. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Second prayer you are going to pray this morning. Ask God. I want to enjoy peace and joy in my home. Let my home be an atmosphere of peace. Let me be filled with joy. Let us be filled with joy. Pray for me this morning. Let my home become an atmosphere of peace, of peace, of peace. Do you know the homes that you enter? You can feel the tension. You can feel that something is not right. They don't need, you don't need any prophet to tell you that. Say, Father, help me this morning. Make my home an atmosphere of joy, of joy, of joy, of joy, of joy. 
and peace of joy 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 and peace in the name of Jesus make my atmosphere the atmosphere of my home the atmosphere of my grandchildren the atmosphere of my children's home let it be an atmosphere of joy of peace of joy and peace in the name of Jesus thank you father cut this to it help me to answer that I know how to answer back in every matter of life. Lord, help me this morning to answer back rightly, O oh God. Rightly, O oh God. Even your children ask God to, to know how to answer back in every matter. Do you know that is scriptural? How to answer back in every matter. How to answer back. I receive that grace this morning. If you don't take anything this morning, you are taking the grace to know how to answer back in every matter. There are some matter. You don't have to say anything. There are some matter. You just have to do what? You have to say, I'm sorry. I am sorry. It won't kill you. And you mean that sorry. There are some matter. You need to sit down together and hang on it out. And say, say your own. Okay, me to say my own. Hallelujah. And you make up your mind not to be angry about it when you say it. Father, help me this morning. I cannot help my as myself. Do you know? Devil is upset about marriage. Don't give him room. Kick him out of your home. Kick him out of your life. Keep him, kick him out of your environment. And it shall be well with you. I pray for you this morning. In the name that is above every other name. Every home going through one checking or the other. Every home going through one turbulence or the other. I speak the peace of God. I speak the peace of God. Everyone going through storm. I speak peace. 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 The grace to love one another. The grace to be around one another. The grace to preserve them, to, 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 uh, to love one another. The grace uh, for perseverance. I ask for you this morning. 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 The grace not to speak. Uh, Ashley to one another. The grace not to keep taking offense. Remember Jesus said, offense we come. I pray for you this morning. Receive that grace. Go in 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 that grace. The grace to sit together and enjoy the fruit of your labor. Receive it this morning. Those that are believing for husband, hey, you will not marry wrongly. Yeah, single ladies, you will not marry wrongly. You will not marry wrongly. Now, single men, you will not marry wrongly. Our children will not marry wrongly. I pray for grace upon each of our children. They will marry their friend. They will marry your friend as parents as well. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Lord, we give you praise. Somebody shout a bigger, better. Hallelujah. I am blessed and I believe you also you are blessed with the word of this morning. Before we go out of the substance that God has given to you, you want to give unto the Lord. And as we are giving up quickly, also if you have not given your life to Christ, it's an opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. I want you to say after me, dear Lord Jesus, I believe in your, in your death. And the blood that you shed for me on the cross of Calvary. I ask this morning that you blot out my sin. And you wash me and make me whole. And accept me as one of yours. If you have said that this morning. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Pastor Abayomi is saying to you this morning. Grace that the enemy will not be able to separate you. That you will glue together as husband and wife. Receive it this morning in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I want you to know that we love you. We appreciate you for joining this platform. Remember this Friday. I say it again. Remember this Friday. Don't miss it. Get out of bed. Come to the place of prayer. Have a day that you come to church and you know that I'm going to pray. And let it be you and God. And it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Grace to grace, the doors are open for you from Tuesday to Friday. For you to come and spend time in the presence of God. Get out of house. Get out of house. Come and commit your life, your home, your business, your children, your health into God's hand. Have a one-to-one -one with God. And also learn to pray for your church. Aha! Until I see you again, I want us to shout it together. 
I cannot serve the big God and remain small. Let's go together. I cannot serve the big God and remain small. Let's shout it one more time. I cannot serve the big God and remain small. It's an error. We love you with the love of God. And we want to say thank you to our media crews, our media team and directors this morning. We say God bless them real good. Hallelujah. See you tomorrow with your holy communion. God bless you. Have a great day. Enjoy the best out of today.